Hey everybody, this is Damien DeNoble. One more quick uh, video. The last live one was so popular. So here is uh, the latest. Yesterday we talked about um, how the OIRA uh, was going to receive the rule and post it on the federal website at some point. Well, it's been posted today. Um, we think that this means, and by we, I mean the Seasonal Employment Alliance means, thinks that this will, means that the rule itself, final rule will be published on May 6th. And this will likely mean that the first day of filing is going to be this coming Monday, which is May 9th. So May 9th will be the first day you can get your USCIS petitions in, which means that the first approvals with receipts, um, the first receipts rather, will come in between May 13th and May 16th, at which point USCIS will have 15 days to process the application, which means that the first employers will get their approvals between May 14th and May 31st. Once USCIS gives these approvals, consulate appointments can be scheduled, which means that the first worker appointments are going to be between May 21st and June 21st. Again, Seasonal Employment Alliance is predicting, which means that between May 28th and June 28th, arrivers, workers will arrive in the United States for those who fit within these windows I've just mentioned, fit within these filing windows. But this can be as late as July because, and this is important, there are all of this is dependent on the actual ability of agencies and consulates to handle this surge of applications. We've never had 35,000 additional applications uh, kind of receded. And we've talked about in many videos on this channel how there's not only kind of unprecedented demand for H-2B workers, but also H-2A agricultural workers, all of which are weighing on embassies and consulates across the world. Of course, the consulates embassies have been ready and preparing for this uh, for many months. So hopefully things are going to be in line. Um, again, the OMB rule has uh, uh, been published on OIRA today, which means that the final publication, the final rule will come out May 6th, this Friday, which means most likely the first filing date is going to be this coming Monday, May 9th, for all additional worker applications. Um, if anybody has questions uh, and you are a subscriber, I am here now. You can ask me anything you want. Uh, and again, I'll open it up like I did last time. Let's see how we do. Um, I'm going to try to keep my head up so you don't see my bald spot as much. Uh, but again, that's 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 the update. So again, for those of you joining us while I wait for questions, the rule, the temporary, excuse me, the, the rule has been published on OIRA. I'm opening it up now here. I'll try to put the links in this video after I finish the live chat. I'll actually put it here. I'll actually put it in the chat. Maybe that works. Huh? There's the rule. Uh, let's see. Can we? It's too long. It's too long. Let me see if I can put a little short bitly on it. Let's see if we can shorten that URL, and I'll put it in the chat. Oh, my gosh. Again, I'm just waiting on questions. The rule has been published, okay, uh, which means that we can probably get, okay, I'm putting this in the live stream now. All right, folks, here's the rule. It's coming. You can see it in the live chat uh, there. Um, and this means that most likely um, we are going to get the final rule published on May 6th, which will probably give us a filing date of this coming Monday, May 9th, though it could be Friday itself. So it could be May 6th, Friday, but it's May 9th when we'll be able to file USCIS applications. Okay. Again, if there are any questions, um, I have, uh, you can chat with me if you're a subscriber uh, uh, on the right here now. I don't assume you want to, but heck, you might. All right. Um, and again, I put the rule publication link on the chat here. I'm going to give it about one more minute and just repeat myself here one more time. So for those of you joining us, the um, rule uh, uh, that will give us additional 35,000 H2B workers has been, uh, has, according to the Seasonal Employment Alliance, you can go to sealabor.com to check them out. Um, has been received by the Office of Management and Budget. It's posted on the OIRA website. Um, and once the rule is published, uh, petitions will be able to be filed. The rule, uh, final rule will be published in the Federal Register May 6th, which probably means that Monday is going to be the first day that we can file um, 
So that will be cool. This, this, if it does get published by Friday, this will be two days faster than the previous record. Although we hope for a lot more. I hope that this year will be published a month before the previous record of May 8th. And again, this means that the first filing day could be on Monday, May 9th. Um, going through that timeline again, that means that Petitions, USCIS petitions would be receded between May 13th and May 16th, at which point USCIS would have 15 calendar days to process if you've paid the premium fee of $1,500 per petition, which again, you should pay. Between May 14th and May 31st, we expect the first tranche of employers to receive approvals, which means that the first worker appointments at consulates, depending on the consulate, will be between May 31st, June 21st. This is where I'll add consulates like um, in smaller countries do have longer wait times. Um, the Mexico consulate could be quite fast. Mexico, Jamaica, right? Traditional countries could be quite fast. And then the workers will be arriving in the United States from May 28th to June 28th, and then into early to mid-July, again, depending on the ability of consulates to process everything. Um, we do have a comment. Brandon, thank you so much. Woo -woo. <laughs> Woo -woo. Uh, anybody else have a question? Uh, I'm at six minutes in. I'm going to give it 10 more seconds, and then I'm going to sign off. You have the link for the rule publishing there. After filing on Monday, says Roman Glass, how long will it take for workers to get H2B visas? Great question. So uh, I'll go through the timeline. So uh, you'll get, if you file on Monday, you can expect to within a week get a receipt. So let's say May 13th, um, you could get a, an approval as soon as, let's say, May 14th, if we're going through the premium processing. So again, you've paid the $1,500 fee. The earliest workers would get here, and that would be from kind of the most efficient countries for processing, would be May 21st. Um, that's going to be longer for some countries. We know that um, Honduras is taking two to three weeks to schedule interviews. So I imagine that would be later than May 21st, maybe June. Um, some places are going to just be slower and could go into July. But the earliest, you know, from the fastest countries, let's say Mexico, you could see them coming on May 21st if you file as soon as this Monday or Tuesday. Okay. So again, this is like chess. Whenever somebody asks a question, I, I add uh, 30 seconds. So if you have a question, no matter how trivial, go ahead and ask it. I will answer it here uh, live out of my office. Uh, you're welcome, Roman. All right. Anybody else? Da, da, da. Okay. Uh, okay, great. Brandon Hayward, how long will it take from, will I take from South Africa? Good question, Brandon. So South Africa is traditionally, you know, kind of one of the veteran countries uh, for this. I know that um, the issue with South Africa's consulates has been for the past year that they're running a skeleton staff. Um, anybody that's gone through immigration there can tell you that. Uh, and they've actually been outsourcing some of their processing to consulates abroad. So when it comes in, so I would anticipate, you know, um, a, a bit of a drag in South Africa, not much, but maybe two, two to three weeks extra for South Africa. That's the best that I can tell you. Now, it could be better for you, right? It could be it could be a little worse. I've heard a lot of horror stories from the South Africa consulate over, over the years, but hopefully it'll be a little better for you. But even two weeks is not that much of a challenge. As long as USCIS receipts your application on time, you know, um, any delay at the consulate level doesn't mean you don't get a visa. It just means you come here a little later. Um, Ricardo Foster, can employers recruit new workers or only returning workers? Great question, Ricardo. So both. So 23. So there's 35,000 visas total. 23,500 of those are for returning workers. 11,500 are for new workers. I will tell you this. If you work with a recruiting agency, uh, the most reputable ones, I always... Um, I use a few that they tell me actually not to use their name too often in these videos because they get too many calls. But I'll tell you, I use Dalal for most of my stuff, Dalal, D-E-L-A-L. They have databases of returning workers, right, that you can tap into and, and potentially use. So it's not like the fact that you need new workers is necessarily um, some sort of death knell for you from getting workers for this uh, process. Uh, returning workers, again, are workers who had H2B certification in the previous three fiscal years. That's 2019 to 2020, 2020 to 2021, 2021 to 2022. No, excuse me, 2020 to 2021, 2019 to 2020, 2018 to 2019. Sorry. Okay, great. Brandon and Ricardo added a minute to your questions. If anybody else has a question, now's the time. Okay, and again, if you're just joining us, uh, we just talked about how the H2B uh, rule was uh, received by OMB. It's been published, which means that we expect the final rule to be published by this Friday, May 6th, which means that USCIS will be receiving applications by this Monday, uh, which is great news.
which is great news. And we answered some of the questions here in the live chat. Um, I've put the link to the published rule on this uh, uh, in, 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 in the side here, which you can check out. Um, if you've never heard of uh, the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs, uh, which is part of the Office of Management and Budget. Well, now you have, this is where um, your regulations get published before they go live. Brendan says, hopefully I can do mail-in and not go for an interview at the visa office. I was last on h 2 visa in April, 2021. Yeah, hopefully you can just go through some sort of group processing, Brandon, or some sort of quick processing. h 2 bs are pri prioritized. Um, yeah, I hope so too. I hope so too. Are you coming in? Uh, just curious, are, are you coming in for some sort of, uh, uh, you, you know, um, uh, kind of like horse related business. There's a lot of folks that work with horses that are coming out of South Africa. Um, I'm just curious what you're, what you're, what you're coming to work at. You don't have to answer. I'm just curious. Yeah. Who's coming out of South Africa. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to shut it down here in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I'm going back to my office Four. So huge to-do list on the back here. I got to get done today. Three, two, one. Ah, Ricardo coming in. That was perfect. That was perfect. That was like um, the 11,000 visas. Are they limited to a few countries? Great question. The new visas are limited. Um, I go over this um, in the last couple of videos uh, off the top of my head. Haiti, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras are the new visas. If those countries don't use all their visas, then sometime in uh, you know August, uh, they would get transferred to other countries. I think there's about a 1% chance of, you know, those uh, uh, combined of those both being released on time for UUs and then, you know, them being released at all to additional countries. Um, the 23,500 returning visas are not limited to any countries by contrast. Yeah. All right. I added 20 seconds. So I'm going to count down one more time here. See if we can get one more question in. Anybody brave enough? There's seven of us watching. Okay. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, and Brendan is going to be working in North Dakota in a supermarket. Bre bless you, man. Thank you for taking that job. You know, uh, hopefully it's going to be not too cold by the time. Well, it's going to be cold in North Dakota. There's, there's no doubt about that. But Hey, bless you for taking that job. Uh, this is why we need folks to come in. I, that, that's a hard job to do. And uh, I hope you get it. Uh, I hope you come, come in and thanks for watching. All right, guys. Bye. Have a great day.